Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Do you ever have one of those days where you really just can't be bothered sewing? I'm having one of those days today, but fortunately I'm going to be caressing lots of fabric. Most of you already know that I rescue fabric wherever I can. And the other day I had a guy come into the shop with tubs and tubs of fabric. Apparently a lady uh, has passed away and her sons who are in their 50s are trying to clean out the house. She's got rooms and rooms full of fabric and this guy has just bought in a small sample for me. So what I've done is transferred everything into boxes and another box. <laughs> And then we have another box here. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the fabric that is in there. Most of it's quilting cotton uh, and it all seems to be pretty clean too, which is a bonus because sometimes I get things that have been in sheds and they might be a little bit dirty, have spiders or mice droppings in them, but these ones are really nice and clean. So I'm going to go through them with you today and then I'm gonna pick out what I want to keep for myself because tomorrow I'm off to mum's place she lives a couple of hours away in Melbourne and I will pick out what I want for myself and I'll take some down to mum to see what she'd like to have so let's have a look and see what there is okay so this is box number one which is fairly packed with some really nice cotton this is the only box that I have actually partially looked through but let's see what there is so I might just have a bit of a chat with you whilst I'm showing you some of these fabrics. Uh, this is actually really pretty. I do love border prints. There's not much of it, but I think this will be really nice in a little bag. A lot of these fabrics I use for linings because some of them are a bit outdated. Uh, it's funny too, I used to have a quilt shop with thousands of bolts of fabric and some of these fabrics I recognise as what I used to sell as well. The lady, she sorted things out uh, into colours and also in floral designs. So I'm going through some mauves um, and some florals at the moment. So the way this works for me is that people know that I rescue fabric. I don't want to see anything going into landfill and uh, this guy that came in the other day, he was actually told about me that I use these fabrics to make and sell products and that when I do make and sell these products, I never charge for the fabric that I receive for free. Nearly all of the fabric that I get is donated and if there's anything that I don't want, I'll put it into a box lot uh, and find somebody else that will take those fabrics. Sometimes I do sell box lots and sometimes I do pay people for the fabric. Uh, these ones here I did pull out the other day. There's dolphins on this one. Uh, cats, it's really cute. So I'm going to, these are really nice novelty prints, so I'm going to keep those for myself. Lots of cats. Dogs. That's a cute one. I think this lady must have loved cats. Look at them all. And this is a nice uh, indigenous looking print. And I'm not sure if this is an Australian designer. Let's have a look. Uh, no, it's not. So 1999, it's a fairly old range of fabric, but that's fine. The colors are really nice and there's a nice border print that goes with it as well. So those ones I've earmarked for myself. And what else have we got in here? So there's lots of things like stabilizers as well. I'll take these down to mum because I'm sure she'll be able to use them. Creams I like to use, so I think I'll keep that one. Nice floral, oh, this is a pretty one. Angels, or that's cute. So yeah, lots of really pretty fabrics in here. And the lady has, she'd marked all of her boxes. Uh, some of them she'd had little applique sets and things which I've already put into a box and put out the front of the shop. I've gone through all of the little bits and pieces that I don't want to keep. Ginny Buyer, yeah, he can always recognize Ginny Buyer fabric. Another one. I used to sell a lot of that. That's pretty. Or well, the two gentlemen whose mother passed away they've got a massive property to clean up. Uh, apparently the house is 
chockers full of fabric and then all other knickknacks that they've had in there over the years. It's almost become a little bit of a hoarder's house. The guy that I'm dealing with, he's bringing other household goods into me as well and I'm just putting some money aside for the boys. And once I've gone through all the things that they've given me, they'll get some cash for it. So that's what I do with general bric-a-brac and second-hand stuff. People drop it in and Chris and I will price everything and then give people what we think the products are worth to us. So everybody wins. We get to sell some good stock. We stop things from going into landfill. I get all this fabric and that is pretty. I do like teapots. I don't know why. I'm not really into pretty things, but that's actually really nice. I like that too. The problem is I like too many fabrics and I want to keep everything. I've got to make some decisions. Let's go through this more quickly. So a lot of these are just small samples. She's got 30 centimetres written in the box, so she must just have 30 centimetre strips, which looks about right here. Oh, that's nice. Dragonfly, uh, butterflies. Oh, that's nice too. I think people like purples. Lots of interfacing. I have a ton of that already, so I don't need to have that. Lots of nice cream. That's a pretty one. That would be really nice inside a bag with cat fabric on the outside and this as a lining. Music. I used to love having musical fabric in the shop. Leopard print. Oh, I used to sell that. Some really pretty fabrics in here. I do love the bright colours. I've always had a thing for bright colours. Oh, I used to sell that one too. I should keep that for a Christmas project, shouldn't I? I think I will. Nice ombre. My favourite colour. I absolutely love this colour. Beautiful. Definitely a keeper. Looks like I've come to the blues. That's so cute. Instead of having the cows jumping over the moon, we've got some cats. That is another keeper, I think. There's going to be lots of fabric here for mum to have a look through. There are some that are quite large pieces as well, so they're not all just 30 centimetre pieces. 30 centimetres, I think that's about a third of a yard almost. I mean, mum's not going to take all of these. I like that one. Oh, I like that too. Oh gosh, it's so hard. I want to keep everything, but I can't. I've actually got to have a big cull of the fabric I've got on my shelves because I've just got too much. I look at the fabric every day when I start a new project and I think there's nothing there that I like. It's like the kids standing in front of the pantry saying there's nothing good to eat today, Mum. I think I'll keep these ones. They're all really handy. So I do like those, yep. They are always good to have. That's a nice one too. I said I love green. It's my favourite colour. Yellow's my second favourite colour. So green and yellow just look fabulous together. So that is box number two. And box number three actually has a lot more fabric in it. So let's have a look at this one. Teddy bears. They used to be all the rage for quite some time. I don't know if they still are. They were very popular especially when you make quillows and things for toddlers or young kids. I used to sell that one as well. Actually, I might keep some of those because I want to try and make some more projects for men and they're good masculine colours. These seem to be, these look like a lot of colours from the early 2000s. That's nice. And that seems to be a heavier fabric too. It's not much of it, just one little strip of it. Yeah, these are old fabrics. Debbie Mum fabric were ages ago. 
some kind of a stretch. So these are a little bit different. They're uh, a stretchy type of fabric. That's interesting. I might end up putting these into a box lot. Uh, I'm not sure. They're not really what I want to use for my projects. So getting back to what I was saying before, when I receive these fabrics, I always like to put them into uh, the bags and products that I sell in the shop. But when I do get fabric for free, I never charge a customer for the fabric that I have received for free. So when I'm making my products, I charge my time. I charge for hardware and strapping and thread and stuff like that. But I don't charge for the fabric that is in the products that I make. I don't believe I should be doing that. I know that some people think I should still be charging uh, for the fabric. You know, you've got processing time and that sort of thing. But I factor that into my labour when I'm actually making a product. So even when I work with my upholstery fabric samples, the time it takes me to remove the backing paper, that's all factored in when I record my time. That's pretty. Have to keep that. So I can justify not charging people for these fabrics because I earn my income in the time that I charge when I do anything. Jeez, there's a lot of cats here. Another Christmas one. This one used to be a very popular range. Cats at Christmas. That might be fun. I think I might have to keep that and that. I'm really not that much of a fan of Christmas fabric. I don't know why, it's just one of those things that I'm not really into. But um, that one I have to have. She's just got lots of ranges together. There were lots of little kits in here as well. Lots of applique kits. And I really should keep some more Christmas fabric because I come up with these ideas for Christmas projects and I never find any fabric. So I think I will. I might have to get a drawer and keep some Christmas fabric in there. There's so much fabric here. Oh, look, more Christmas. That's a pretty piece. Actually, Mum would like that. She loves her blues. So I think I'll leave that with her if she wants it. Oh, that's a really nice one. More teapots. I should keep that one because I might do an apron with that. Oh, that's nice too. Some more little angels. That would be a good Valentine's Day print, wouldn't it? But I'm not into Valentine's Day either. Let's scrap that one. Some of these fabrics are so old and dated, but they'll still be really nice inside bags. That might make a really nice Christmas table runner. That's a really pretty fabric. I think I'll keep that. I'm going to have to think of some ideas for Christmas now because, you know, it's not far away now. And this is the last lot. So lots of greens and blues in this box. These are very dated fabrics. A lot of these are going to just go into my scrap fabric challenges. And these ones here will also be really good for masculine type projects. So I'll hang on to those. That's, I actually, I'm really happy about these, having some masculine fabrics because I don't have enough of those. Most of what I've got is florals and brights. I think I like those as well. Nearly finished. I'm not into these older florals. Now just because I'm not into them doesn't mean I won't use them because there are still plenty of people that are. And I'll give mum a chance to go through these, whatever she doesn't want. I'll certainly put to good use, but, you know, I've got to go through first and pick the ones that I really do want. Of the three boxes, I think I've been pretty disciplined. Okay, 
got to stop looking. All right, I'll put all of these back in the box. So I have been really disciplined. Of those three big boxes of fabric, at this stage, this is all that I've pulled out for myself. So I think that that's a pretty good effort for me. I do know that once I've been to mum's place, I'll be coming back with probably two big boxes full of fabric anyway. I just really wanted to sort through and see what I wanted to definitely keep for myself. I do need to go through my shelves over here. There's so many pieces of fabric here that just don't suit my needs. There's a lot of stretch fabric, netting, all sorts of things that I really don't use much anymore. So I'll, I will take those back to the shop refold these and hopefully I'll have something much more inspiring to look at when I'm looking to do my next project. This isn't all the fabric that I'm getting. Uh, I mentioned that the lady had passed away and she had rooms and rooms full of fabric. Hundreds of tubs in there. It's not the biggest house lot I've done of fabric but this lady certainly has a lot of fabric and there's going to be a lot more coming my way in, the, I think perhaps tomorrow and in the coming weeks. These guys have to sell the house and they have to empty it. And even though I don't generally pay for these fabric pieces that I get, I will actually just put some extra money in an envelope for the boys. There's going to be a lot of really good fabric here. I do know the value in the fabric. I think the right thing to do would be to actually give them some extra cash I still factor all of that into my uh, products when I'm working out how much I'm going to charge for something that I've made. I hope you've enjoyed looking into these fabrics. Mum, I hope you enjoy these when they come down to you tomorrow night. I'll be away for a few days and if we're really lucky, we might be able to talk Mum into doing another project with us at her place. We'll see what happens. Uh, I have to think of something first. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and having a look at these fabrics and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.